All right, so we're gonna try something pretty interesting today. Yeah, this is a UK brand, Bax Botanics. And I heard about this on a podcast many moons ago, and I thought, oh, that sounded interesting, and was able to find it here in cool. the US. So we're gonna try this. It's uh, verbena, which is also known as Tears of Isis or Devil's Bane. Let's, it's a kind of a magical herb, so we'll see if the drink's magical. Yeah, why don't we try it with this? Uh... So we're going to try to drink tea? We're going to drink with a little bit of club soda, okay. as they recommend. What is Mediterranean tonic water? There's all different types of tonic water. Um, yeah, I mean, my favorite is Indian, but <laughs> I guess we'll have to look out for Mediterranean now. <laughs> And this also has sea buckthorn, which reportedly has some medicinal value. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> they do not recommend you sip it on its own. It's meant to be in a cocktail, so very simple, Wait. easy, easy cocktail. Club soda, box hmm. botanics. Okay, yeah, I like that. It's surprisingly good. What am I tasting? That is very herbal, very much like I'm drinking a garden. Not like seed lip, which tastes like pea shoot. Yeah, this does have, would that be minty? Mm-hmm, a little bit. I wonder if verbena is related to mint, because that's... Oh, that would be something to look up and figure out. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. It's not so complex that your <laughs> brain tries to figure out what the heck's going on. True, but it's not as bitter as I like. And I would definitely, I mean, we're going to mix up a drink that they recommended with the lime, so I think that'll help okay. bring out some flavor because it's, it's good. I don't know that I would just sip it with club soda. I think I need a little bit more complicated drink for myself. Yeah, I would be happy just sipping this on a hot day. Really? What is it? I mean, it's cucumber-ish to me as well. A little bit of cucumber mm -hmm. coolness to it, mm -hmm. which I can see on a hot day you would want. Yeah, and the mint, it just, it'd be interesting to make a mojito with this Well, too. that's kind of what we're doing. I'm gonna muddle okay. up some mint right now. Did you do any research on what is uh, up with this company? <laughs> up with Bax Botanics? What's up with Bax Botanics. Uh, I did not get in any of that. However, I did, I was totally geeking out on Verbena as it has a long history as a magical herb since ancient Roman times and is known as Tears of Isis and later Hera's Tears, which was a, a goddess, a pagan goddess. And then there's Devil's Bane. The first time I heard about it, it was in relationship to vampires, which is... <laughs> the keep vampires away? That's supposedly. good. Supposedly. Okay. So it's good to keep away vampires. Yeah. And this goes for about, I think I saw $37 on Boisson, NYC. Yeah. It's not a cheap spirit, which is, for such a small bottle, 500 yeah. milliliters, it's a little bit less than what we're used to seeing. But we like to kind of joke about making magical potions and verbena. It's one of the most magical ingredients I think we've had so far. According to Wikipedia, anyways. Fresh mint in there, a little bit of 
of honey, garnish, and you can choose your own flower. But what would you, what flower would you like? <laughs> I would go for a little marigold. Oh, I got the snapdragon. Cheers. Cheers. Pretty. Hey, whoa. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot different. Mm -hmm. The lime is strong. It is. <laughs> but I like that. Mm. It's gorgeous. That's in, that's really intense. It is. This is this drink you sip slowly. And that has a lime and a half. A lime and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay, lots of friendly sea in here. <laughs> yes, fresh lime, a little bit of honey syrup, muddled mint, and then verbena. So this is it's gluten-free, vegan, sugar-free. Uh, I really like lime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's slowing me down so I don't just yeah. guzzle this whole thing. Carry on more. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> but I do like this the design that they've got going on. It's very modern, very garden. Exactly what you would expect from this drink is, is this design. I feel like uh, this would be a fun one to have at a dinner party. Mm -hmm. Definitely a different flavor profile than people would be used to or expecting. So you could get some of the bitter by throwing in the tonic water. Yes, yeah. yeah. That's probably why they're recommending tonic water. Uh, or you can just add a dash of old bitter. <laughs> Cheap. Just add a little yeah. bit of aromatic in here. It'd be nice. Uh, yeah, so this was, this was a fun on drink. Yeah, surprisingly so. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.